Liam Bennett, the youngest ever competitor in the BDO World Championship. That must mean quite a lot to you. Oh yeah, but it's an awesome feeling obviously, playing on there, playing Scott Mitchell as well, one of the legends of the BDO. But now I just loved every minute of it. I, I, but I needed that break on the third set when I went tuna down. I needed to get my head back on because I lost a bit of concentration because obviously losing six legs on the bounce, I was more worried about getting beat 9-0 than winning out. And then off, off the break, went in the toilet, splashed water over my face and said, you can do this still. It's never over until that final double's out. And come back, I won the first set, first set after the break, 3-0. I thought, oh, could be back in here. And he, he did. He went off. I thought I got in his head a little bit and then I didn't score enough after, which affected me. And I, it, I'm kicking myself still now. I wish I just could hit that ton or 97 just to keep the pressure on. But I just didn't. I just went 28, 26 and he got back in. So. What were you thinking when the draw came out? Because it's probably one of the toughest draws you could have got in the first round, wasn't it? Uh, I'd say that's a good first draw for me, really, because obviously I know I needed to play well. I needed to prepare right, and I know if I didn't play my game, then I was going home. But now, at, at the end of the day, you're playing a top bloke who's been there, he's a world champion. So, really, in my eyes, that's the best draw I could have got. What did Scotty say at the end to you? Because it was a nice embrace and I think he has a lot of respect for you. Oh yeah, me, me and Scott have known each other before he even started on the BDO. And he is, he's a really nice bloke, I met him a few times. He, he looks after me when I go abroad to these BDO cons. But no, we've both got a lot of time for each other. But no, he's just said how tough that game that was. And he said he didn't like it when we come, when we come back on and I took the first set again, 3-0. I thought, oh here we go. But no, in the, when I went in the... Like the room after the break, I said to him, I just need to win a leg. <laughs> I said, I don't feel good one bit. I was, I was really nervous for two two sets. So, How much will, will this experience help you then? Because obviously you'll be hoping to be up there next year and for many years to come as well. Hey, yeah, I'd say I've got a lot of experience. I know what the crowd's going to be like and I know what everything's going to be like now for Saturday when I play the youth final. And I know if I go up there and just play like I normally do now, I know what it's all like, I think I'll win it and I, I hope to bring my title back home with me. Just talk to me about the youth final because obviously you're playing another very quick player, another very good player that's played in the uh, obviously the PDC World Championship. What can we expect from that game? Uh, it's going to be good, it's going to be quick as well but uh, I think if I play my game I've got no worries really but obviously if I don't play my game now I've got worries but I know if I just get my head on, just keep my head down, I'll, I'll be fine. Thank you very much, Leighton.